What's up, man? 25 gamers. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at our base zone coverage in this week's Scheme of the Week defense out of the Nickel 155 Prowl, also known as the Nickel Cycle. Let's get into the play. The play we're going to be using for our base zone coverage is going to be the, um, the cover three here. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up. Am I in the wrong playbook, maybe? You might have to be in the Washington playbook for this to have. Um, we'll just show you what it looks like out of a standard play. It's really, it's really pretty simple. So we're going to use the double loop three to in, in, to uh, uh, it, it, to show you what we mean. But what we're just going to do is we're just going to come out. We're going to base a line. We're going to hit R1 and we're going to flick that right analog stick up to put them all in zones. We're going to base a line twice. And what I really like about this this base zone coverage is. If we call the disguise cushion coverage, it's like they just go far. It's like a cover four almost. Everything's open underneath, but there's nothing open deep. And if if they try to go deep, we got like three guys in the way. I mean, it's yeah, it it, it is a little soft against the underneath pass, but at the same time, it's like what are you trying to take away? You know, definitely don't want to use this in short yardage situations. This is more of just a fill you out type of play that we can use, um, you know, may mess with your line shifts and stuff like that, make it look like you're blitzing, but in reality you're dropping everybody back except one guy, and you're forcing the opponent to make a read and and hopefully get him to throw into double coverage. I really really like this zone coverage out of the nickel one five five psycho. Let's go over how to do it one more time. You want to come out, you want to base a line. Um, so hit triangle and then right on the on the LD pad, and then you want to hit R1 or R R button on Xbox 360. You want to flick the right analog stick up, and you want to base align two more times consecutively. And what I really like to do with AJ Hawk here, I like to put him in a deep blue zone and take this guy Burnett and and user him in the middle. So now I still have covered three, but now I have a little better middle coverage because I'm in the middle. And it's going to force, you know, as a user player, I trust my ability to really take over the game. So that is our base zone coverage out of the Nickel 155 Psycho. We call this in situations like second and short to maybe de deter a play action bomb or something. Something that they want to do when we want to switch it up from man coverage. We call the zone coverage to give them a different look. This combined with our base play and our base man coverage. We're starting to see the development of a full defensive scheme out of the Nickel 155 Psycho. Be sure to come back tomorrow where we break down our base run defense out of the Nickel Psycho. And also later in the week we're going to be breaking down our basic zone blitz and our basic man blitz. Thank you guys so much for your support and watching today. Be sure to practice this and practice them before you use it in a head-to-head -head match or a connected careers mode match. And lastly guys, if you have any suggestions for me, I... I encourage you to leave them in the comment section below. And if you are new to the YouTube channel and you need some help or a further explanation, please hit me up in the comments or check out some of the older videos that I posted. If you guys do not know how to do that, then just ask somebody in the comment section. All you have to do is create a YouTube account and you can now access the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time today. And be sure to stay tuned for later in the week where we break down the rest of the Nickel Psycho defense. Thank